I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to Vlogmas week one. Oh my God, this has come so quickly. I don't know why I'm sitting down there. Um, This is terrible angles. What am I doing? Wow, okay, I was better just sat down, wasn't I? <laughs> but yeah, oh my God, I can't believe it's Vlogmas. As you've probably known, if you've watched my recent videos, I did say how I'm going to be doing vlogmas into weeks just because my life's not that interesting that i could do it every day and i also do work so i wouldn't be able to film edit upload every single day so yeah just gonna do weekly ones so this is the first week so today it's the 25th of november i'm starting a little bit early um just because we want to decorate our house today so yeah that's gonna be the first part of vlogmas one is decorating putting our tree up we've got so many decorations like it's actually beyond a joke so yeah hope you enjoy we're just moving this because we think this is... Oh my God, I just saw their marks. When did they get there? Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to get Dr. Beckman. Oh my God, this is the bane of my life. All the mud that gets on the carpet. Who cares? Then this is what I used. It's actually really good. It gets it out straight away. Yeah, so this is where we think we're going to put the tree. But then that looks really weird, that side now. But it's probably just because I'm used to it being this side. Do you think that looks really weird? <laughs> Right, this is our um uh, excuse me Dan. I thought we were having a Christmas film on in the background. Yeah, we need to know if anyone's gonna top the group or not. I don't need to know that. Well, I don't <laughs> this is our Christmas tree. Um I bought this this year because the last one we had was like a little tabletop one, wasn't it? Um and this is a six foot and it's pre lit, which I'm very excited about. Um but I don't know what it's gonna look like because we haven't opened it yet, which is probably a bad idea, but I got it for like half price a while ago, so oh god, I don't like the colour of it. What green? <laughs> no, but it's like a weird green. I've got snow spray, so hopefully that saves the day. Right, I'm gonna actually help out. <laughs> I just realised it doesn't have a um, we don't have a tree skirt. Right, where's the bottom bit? This bit. That's a little thing that stands on. Yeah, is this the bottom one? Probably. It's usually the biggest one. It's the bottom one. Yeah, so I'd say this one. Are you doing? <laughs> Oh no. What? Oh, well, I just can't. I think that's what that. I think that's what that is. From here. Plug for it, probably. Yeah, plug. Okay. Next biggest bit is. What would you say is the next biggest bit? Oh, oh this these one. lights just really tangled. Oh, they're connected up here as well. Yeah. Okay, well, let's yeah. just put these down so you can see. things i was so excited that this is pre-lit also we don't know what film to put on we were looking for the new grinch but no one has it and it's really annoying because we buy it grinch, yeah. huh the newer yeah the newer grinch, grinch. but if we There's the animated a, a, horror one. Grinch, like. a horror grinch yeah, right. no. to be honest i used to find the main grinch the jim carrey one really scary as a kid so that was a bit of a horror for me because i look bald with this hairstyle um this <laughs> but yeah we don't is that better but yeah, we don't know what film to watch. Uh, well, not that we've really been watching it, it's just been in the background. I could spend so long planning this trip. Like, no matter what I do, it's still not going to look perfect. That looks terrible in that camera. Why are none of the lights on? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Okay, we've figured out the lights now. I still don't think it looks great, but then by the time you put ball walls and stuff on it, like there's a massive patch here without lights now that I can see it. This whole section. Oh, I don't know. So, like, I feel like you can never get it perfect. Can you see? There's a massive section there without lights, Dan. But they came with the lights on, but they really haven't spaced them out. Like, there's loads this side. I don't know. Do you think we need to buy more lights? No, look, there's a ma this whole side's barely got any lights. What, what are you putting on? <laughs> what is it? Let's see how long it takes me to guess what it is that he's put on. You already hear the music. Don't start yet. No, I don't know what it is yet. 
Nativity? We watched... Oh, Nativity 2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Right. This is where we've been storing all our Christmas stuff and it's kind of right. Be really careful. That's not... Yeah, just, just take it all out, actually. But then the main bauble bag is here. Just be really careful with that one. One of them broke in there, did I tell you that? I was very upset about that. And then we've also got this. This isn't all ball balls, by the way. This whole bag there is not ball balls. That's all ball balls. That's ball balls. And other than that, why have we got so much? What do you mean? It's not that big of a tree. Well, I didn't know that. That's the whole point, is I didn't know. So we'll just go through picking the best ones. Should we start with the snow spray? Yeah. Because I feel like that's a good idea. I don't think that's going to be enough either. Okay. I'm really going to get them in the car now. Gonna do a bit around all the sides. Oh, it's starting to run out already. Really? Yeah, you need like a good couple of these probably. Yeah. Where is it? Mr. Bobby! Where is it missing a patch? Uh, around here, maybe a little bit. Oh, that's really good. Mate, that didn't last long at all, did no, it? I told you, you need like, we'll have to buy another one probably. After. I don't know though, I quite like it when it's a bit. No, I want it more snowy than that. I can't believe that lasted 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't pick up two when I did it, it's so annoying. Grab another one tonight. Right, fun fact, guys. I only actually watched um, Nativity Two um, for the first time last year. I'd only ever seen the first one. You can it's barely showed up on the camera at all. The snow. <laughs> Let me try this side. This side I put a bit more on. I feel like, yeah, we definitely need more, guys, don't we? But it's cute Does for now. Use it often? I don't know. I never used it before. Yeah, it you know, you can get trees that are like just snowy. Yeah. Go through and pick, oh my god, pick all our favourite ball balls because apparently I've got way too many ball balls, so I want to make yeah, sure they're the you've best got, ones. Like, three bags of ball balls. Shut up. And look, we've got can never have enough. Tray. How is that six foot? That is six foot. That's six foot. Wait, where, where are you? Where do you come up to that? It's not even taller than you. Oh, it's tiny, it's taller than you. That makes no sense. Right, let's pick the best ball balls and then start decorating. <laughs> Look at What's the up? angle. What's up, guys? Originally, I was just like this. We should probably we should do a little driving cam. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. I must have like a special thing. Also, have that. <laughs> don't think this is criminal eating a, eating your ice cream before your meal. Does anyone have to do that? Because I just get scared that the ice cream is going to melt. But then it feels criminal, doesn't it? Because then then you're about to eat something hot and savoury. Mm. No, you don't get that. Well, yeah. No, but we didn't know how long food was going to be. Look at my little head just sticking out. <laughs> Polly is indeed 4 foot 11. I'm not 4 foot 11. I'm 5 foot 2. Thank you very much. I have always get the mini McFlurry because otherwise it's just too much for me because I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant. So I don't think I am. I'm on the spectrum. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the spectrum of lactose intolerant. I'm on the spectrum. The scale. 
I'm at scale. I'm on the scale of lactose intolerant. I'm pretty sure. Well, I was saying that to you the other day. I had a cup of tea and ran straight to the loo. <laughs> one time. It's not one time. I do it all the time. I feel sick after any kind of dairy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm eating dairy right now. But when? how often do I have ice cream? Every day. No, I don't. I never have ice cream. The only time I have a McFlurry is at Christmas when they bring this out. Because it's just amazing. Yeah, this this is probably the best McFlurry. Yeah, because we've got a bit of everything that, that you can want in it. Malteser, Twix, Mars, well, just everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> we haven't finished Jagger Rainbow, by the way. Put the no. tree up. We're going to take a five minute break. Five minutes, we more than five minutes. We had to take a food break because we realised we didn't have any breakfast. And then I thought, oh, let's go try the festive McDonald's menu for, for part of the video. And the only thing we've got part of the festive menu is the McFlurry. But I feel like this less this year because what's the main thing? It's like I didn't a, even see what. It's a big tasty, I think, the... but that's not Christmassy. That's where they bring it out at any point in the year. Why are we looking at the bus? <laughs> but then it's the festive pie, which I'm sorry, I'm not trying to mince pie. Never in my life am I trying to mince pie. You've never had a mince pie? No. Ever? No, I never planned to have one either. Bloody hell, really? No. Never gonna have one. Um, and then it's the celebration that flurry and then the cheese melt dippers, which people say are amazing, but I don't like cheese. They are pretty good cheese. I'm gonna get so much hate for that because people love cheese, don't they? Well, I do like cheese on like pizza. I can eat it then, but I could never eat just cheese on its own. That's the point. How can you say you're like Joyce and Tom? When you literally have pizza all the time. But it's a tiny bit of cheese, isn't it? That's the only thing I have with dairy in. And occasional ice cream. Cup of tea. Yeah, and, and a cup of tea, I guess, which again is only a tiny bit of dairy. I don't know. I do eat dairy, obviously, but like in tiny amounts. Also, I'm kind of done with this now. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I've eaten most of it. Oh, I can't have it. I've had loads here. I always get the mini ones for that exact reason. Also, I had a headache and that's just instantly cured. I definitely need some food. Mm. But yeah, when we get back, we've still got to put up all the decor. Um, we've got loads of like cushions and. Don't try, wait a minute, what the hell? What? Oh, is it paper? It's paper. Oh, it's polystyrene. I didn't realise that. Polystyrene. That's good, isn't it? It's better than plastic. Um, yeah, we've got loads of cushions to the sofa, blankets, loads of like little decor that we're going to put everywhere, aren't we? Give us the food then. <laughs> Come on. Okay. But yeah, I'm just going to end this clip here. But we'll catch up with you when we get back. Um, because you don't need to see us eat, dude. To be fair. Yeah, no, you um, don't. Come on. No, because you want to see us eat. No, it'll just keep going. It'll just keep going. Um, so yeah, I'll film the rest when we get back and show you where we got up to with the tree. Okay, the rest of the thing. No. <laughs> no. <we're, laughs> they're watching us eating. <laughs> no, Dan. Seriously, press the thing because it, I don't have enough storage. It's only in four minutes. Bye. Bye. We just realised we forgot to even put the star on, so that's pretty bad, isn't it? McDonald's was cool on oh, our name. Oh, my face, the glitter. You only got it on properly, look. It's because it went in my eye. Oh, oh, no. You might have to do that. You try. Oh, something went in my eye. Got lipstick on my I don't know if this is going to work. gonna work we've bent it haven't we the thing yeah. what well, i have to have a wonky star this year no i can't have that can't have that can't have a wonky star yeah, yeah, yeah. i was gonna say isn't it a bit weird that it's that way oh, there you go oh okay i don't want to risk it losing my It would have thought it would be that hard to get a star on the tree, though. Okay, guys, we have... That's really close up. <laughs> we have some bunting now we're going to put up just using these command hook things. How do these work, then? I don't know. You need two, right? Yeah, the old Mrs. Do you need two? Can you stop talking about a weird voice, please? It's going to ruin the festivities. Oh. Right, look. Just rip the thing. Well, I thought you wanted me to take. Okay, so what is that I messed up for? Mm, 
Yeah, yeah. So you do your foot care at the moment? Yeah. I don't know, because I can't feel it in your foot, I don't know. No, further along than that. So it's, think about it, it's where the end is there. That's it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> My lies. That's gonna fall off. Yeah. Well, it's because I was oh, pulling. No. It's because I was pulling. So oh, I was trying to sort it out. Oh, I was trying to sort it out first. Sorry, I was pulling. Wait, no, is that all sorted yet? That's all sorted yet. <laughs> Go on. That's all sorted yet. Come on, That's it's a... hurting. Oh, oh bore off, lad. It is hurting. It's only got little arms. No, it's not. Why? That's not sticky. It's because it's on the floor. But that is literally not sticky. Well, this is Christmas. <laughs> does it look central? Well, yeah, it does look central. Have you pushed down really hard, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We finally did it! High five. <laughs> high five, high five. Way that took us. Far too long, I'm actually embarrassed by how long that took us to do. Stop it! Right, stop it, Dan! Right, this is... Now let's move on to... Should we do the sofa now that we're on to the sofa what section? Blankets from Tesco. I don't know if I want it like that, to be honest, Dan, because you can still see the grey sofa. I don't know. No, I, no, I don't know. I don't... Trial it, trial it. Yeah, but we could have the white one in the middle still. Do you see what I mean? But but not that one, because that one's got the middle one's got the mud one on. So the one right, of the one so of the, so one yeah exactly that one can be covered that one there that's fine could be in the middle I don't know I'm just trying it out like that. Well, this is Christmas. What do you guys reckon? And they're not going to help us right now. No, <laughs> I always forget that. We need help right now. <laughs> I need help. So ignore yeah, the mud stain on that. Sense, it's just grey isn't very festive, is it? That's why I wanted it. What are you doing with that? Goodness! Use your noggin, mate. Oh, here we go. Right, let's leave him to faff around with that. I'm going to show you the cushions I have bought. I'm so excited about these. This is the first one we've got. That was from Home Bargains. This one I got from Home Sense. How cute is that? Let me take the tag off that still. And then this one I also got from Home Bargains. Right, this is our sofa now. How cute is that? Oh, Although, Dan, I have noticed that mine's. Dragging down there, yours is not. But then yours is a corner one, so I'll let you off with that. What do you reckon? It's not folded loads down the back, is it? No. Okay, cool. That's fine then. How cute is this? Oh, we've had like pictures on the wall, but we're not, obviously, we've only really recently just moved in, <laughs> haven't we? So we're not finished yet. But how cute is the, are these cushions? I love that one. How cute. I feel like this is going to make the whole place look so much more festive. Oh, it's coming together, guys. Right. Let's crack on with the rest. Okay, guys, we've decided to put this here, but we need to get the proper batteries for it because at the moment it's just got that. With this, oh, I don't think I showed this on the door, actually. We've put this on the door. This is the bedroom door. And then this is what we're unsure about is the sideboard because we've got lots of little decor things, but I think that's too many things in one place. Look at it, though. It is so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine nice glass of hot chocolate for Holly and whiskey for Daniel. Right. This is the bit that I was most excited for, my hot chocolate station. So I bought this from Home Bargains. It's like a... What are you doing? Oh, I didn't realise it said that. How cute is that? It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then I'm thinking of putting it in this corner. And then these also are from Home Bargains. They're like all these little hot chocolate things. And then I don't know how to... Marshmallows that side. This isn't white hot chocolate, by the way. It's like a cream, I think it said. A milk creamer or something like that. How would you like that? How cute is that? Oh, stop! I actually can't. I actually can't. It's going to be Oh, I don't know how to you like that. Well, I'm not filming. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Do you need if it's like a proper hot chocolate station? Do you then need like some spoons and some mugs or something? Have I got a really Christmassy mug? Oh, no. I actually don't have Christmas mugs. You've got Disney mugs. They're Christmas, are you? How are Disney? Oh, I've got this one, but all the 
stuff come off it. That's really annoying. Well, it looks like I've got to get a Christmassy mug then. <laughs> no, I'd probably just keep my mugs in there. But I've seen where people have like a... Um, do you know what I've actually seen in Home Bargains? Candy cane spoons. How cute would that be? I might have to get them. Ignore all this. This is not done, but... How cute. I bought this from Home Bargains as well still. Oh, it's got a mark on it. Little Santa thing. And then I someone on TikTok, a lady on TikTok told me an idea of basically just filling it with like chocolate coins and stuff. Which is really cute. So bought quite a few. These ones are like popping candy, by the way. Did you know that? No. I'm so excited about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill these up. I think that's cute. What do you think guys? Um there was one that didn't fit in. <laughs> Right, so that bit's done. That's all our rubbish at the moment. Then we have, what else do we have? We still haven't decided on if that's staying like that, have we? Sorry, <laughs> the bin is not my forte. I'm gonna put this, yeah, I'm gonna put it on top of this. I need to get rid of my, oh, I can move this up now. I just realized, does that move down? Oh my God, that is great. Oh god, no it's not, no it's not great. I just realised I can move this up now. I don't know. Oh. Right, move that up. That's all my hair stuff, which is very messy. And then, that's vinted. A lot of this is vinted stuff. Right, where do I put my little CD player? Because that's not festive, is it really? Just down there. What do you mean in the bin? No. I love my little CD player. I do use it. What are you flying for? That is cute. The only thing is, then there's like all those leads there. I don't know if you can even see that, to be perfectly honest. But what can you do? This room is nowhere near done, but it's um, it's a work in progress, but I use it for a lot of my filming. So do you know what? I'm also going to put a little candle there. What candle? I think this one, festive Christmas. Oh, this is Christmas. How cute. So I haven't filmed since Friday, it's now Sunday. Um, I just, A, I didn't have anything to film and honestly yesterday was a horrible day to be honest. Um, I don't want to put like a damper on things because obviously it's vlogmas, it's meant to be really festive but I also think it's important to keep it real and I'm vlogging my week so at the end of the day like I'm not just gonna cut out these other big things that happen and like not even address it like I'm going to try not to spend too long talking about it because obviously, yeah, this is meant to be a festive time. Um, but yeah, it's also important to keep it real because a lot of like this time for a lot of people isn't always fun all the time and festive. Do you know what I mean? So basically, if, if, um, if you watch my other videos, you might know I've talked about it before briefly. I think that I have endometriosis, um, which is a I'll just briefly say like the doctor's version of it. It's like a condition. Um, where like the lining in your womb starts growing outside of the womb basically on like loads of different organs um and it just it affects so much like the side effects the symptoms so much I've obviously been going through this my whole life but only the last couple of years have I um been able to get a diagnosis for it because it just takes so long to recognize it because although it's as common as diabetes no one talks about it so anyway, I'm not going to talk about that loads because that's only like a brief bit of what it's to do. But essentially, I had surgery for it this time last year, like to the day, like two days time. It will be to the day when I had the surgery. Um, and although I feel I do feel better in some ways, in other ways, it's still the same. Like I still get really, really bad cramps and just lots of different things. And yesterday was just a day where I woke up and I was starting to feel the cramps coming on. Like I'm sure a lot of um, menstruators like girls whatever can relate to that like you can kind of feel things like that coming on um but I woke up and I was like no I'm gonna go to the gym like people say that exercising can help stuff like that anyway so I was like, I'm just gonna go for the gym even for like half an hour just walk on the treadmill um which is usually all I do at the gym anyway because I can't do much more than that um with my body 
So anyway, I did that. I actually started to run on it as well. And usually I just walk on an incline, but I was like pushing myself, which is probably what's caused this, um, running on the treadmill, which I did. And then, um, yeah, I lasted 20 minutes and the pain just started coming back. And I was like, right, I've that's it. Like I've got to listen to my body. I've got to go. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it's like too much TMI, but basically it caused something to happen. And um, yeah, I had to get home um so i got home i was driving home there was so much traffic i was driving home and because one of our roads was shut um near my house i had to go through some like country lane i mean all the places to my house at the moment are country lanes anyway and if you also if you've watched my videos you know that we've only recently moved here in the last couple of months so i don't know the area that great um but we were going through country well, i say we i was going through country lanes getting the most intense cramps like to the point where i was like clenching onto the steering wheel for dear life I must have shut my eyes for like a second whilst I was having a cramp or something. My brain was so foggy, honestly. Um, I just remember like hitting a massive, massive pothole. Um, and then all of a sudden all the warning lights came on in my car and yeah, my tire burst. So obviously it's completely my fault. Like I, I, I should have listened to my body and not even gone to the gym in the first place. Or I should have not driven from the gym and asked someone to come get me and come get my car or whatever but the thing is most of the time I can deal with it like I've driven before with cramps like this and I can stay focused but I've just got so much other stuff going on right now that I just can't I couldn't focus so anyway um it was fine also like, I didn't hit anyone or I didn't injure myself or anything um just my car um but it happened right on a corner of a bend of a country road so I was like I'm not stopping here like that's too dangerous so I drove like literally so slowly just in gear one just drove a little bit further up the road so I could be on a straight bit um before I put my hazards on and called my parents or whatever um which anyway ended up like ruining the car even more but because you're not meant to drive obviously but I just I was like what am I gonna do stop on a corner like I can't do that um so anyway yeah I called my parents and my dad was at golf so he was like oh see if your mum can come out first I had a spare tire in my back of my car which is fine but I know I had no idea how to fix that. My mum did, um, but she was like, yeah, I'll give it a go. So she came, we were struggling for ages. I say we, she was struggling for ages because I was literally on the side of my car curled over like that. Like honestly, like I was in labor. That's what I was like, no help whatsoever. But I was just, I was in excruciating pain already. And then I started to need a wee. And that's another thing with my illness. If I need a wee, I have to go for a wee because it's because it starts to like push on the part of my body that's already so like, inflamed and bruised almost that I just it is excruciating so I was just literally like no help whatsoever my mum was trying to do it on her own bless her um and then we had to get my dad out and he came and he came and put um a tire on but I'd damaged my actual alloy wheel so badly from hitting the um pothole that we just put the tire on and then I've now got to buy a new alloy wheel which is going to be a lot of money um if i contact like nissan directly so my dad was like oh look on ebay first so i managed to find someone that was selling a nissan like the right wheel for me um for a lot less than i would have had to pay if i went like straight away to the garage so i'm happy about that but i think i mentioned it before but me and my best friend are going on a road trip this week like the next weekend um and obviously i was driving so straight away i was like oh my god like if you can't get it in stock can't get delivered in time i was like oh my god that's that's gonna ruin my time even more at the moment um but i've ordered one on ebay it does say it will get here by thursday so fingers crossed because we're literally leaving on friday so fingers crossed it does and that it fits and it's fine otherwise i mean we'll probably still go but we'll just have to get the train which is a bit annoying but we'll do that but yeah that was yesterday and honestly i was just having the biggest breakdown ever like you know when one like you're already going through so much stuff and then something else happens and it just tips you over the edge yeah i was sat before anyone had arrived like my parents arrived i was sat in my driver's seat crying my eyes out and a couple of people were driving past and they're like are you okay like because they were checking obviously because i stood, saw i broke down and i was just, like my eyes just bawling out and i was like yeah i'm fine like literally whilst crying my eyes out i don't know what they were thinking but do you know what we all have those times you know and i just feel like it's good to mention because um, you know Christmas is a hard time for a lot of people and I'm very aware of that right now like Christmas for me this year is not going to be nowhere near the same as it usually is and I'm not saying that like my Christmas is going to be terrible obviously it's not going to be terrible compared to a lot of people's but I just mean it's going to be different to my like usual Christmas for a lot of reasons that I, I just don't need to go into because that, what's the point you know what I mean like this is vlogmas the end of the day 
I do want to be mainly upbeat and mainly festive, but it's just important because I feel like you watch a lot of YouTubers do all these festive things and that's just so unachievable for a lot of people. Like, I want to make mine as realistic as I can, like, whilst also really festive. So I just feel like it's good to have this little chat, like, fill you in on what happened yesterday and why I didn't film anything. And then, yeah, I'm not doing anything today. Honestly, I'm just going to be recovering. I'm going to be editing, filming lots of TikToks. So if you want to see me more active, then go follow me on TikTok because I'm going to try and film lots of TikToks today so that when I'm working during the week, I don't have to think about that. I can just upload them and then tidy up and maybe even start to like wrap a couple of presents. So if I do get around to doing that, then I'll film again because I just think that's such a little festive thing. But yeah, I just thought, why not fill you in? Because it's just realistic, isn't it? And I just want to be as realistic as possible. But yeah, so if anyone else is having a bit of a hard time, obviously I didn't go into detail about loads of other stuff. Like there's loads of other stuff going on. It's not just obviously the fact that what happened yesterday, but loads of stuff in the background. Um, but yeah, if you're going through a hard time at the moment, honestly, I feel for you because it's the worst time of year to be going through stuff. Like it's horrible because you just can't feel festive, especially when everyone around you is like really festive and you're just like, you can't. So honestly, I feel for you so much and drop me a message like, either um either on here i don't know how you do it on youtube i'm not gonna lie but um follow me on instagram or tiktok go over there and drop me a message or whatever because honestly i feel for you and it's just not nice is it so yeah but i thought i'd just keep that real and fill you in hi guys <laughs> bit of a oh my god this lighting bit of a random thing to add to vlogmas week one. Oh, how cute does she look in the background um but i actually don't have any lights in my like living room area i'll show you so all of my lights are all connected, like my lounge, my kitchen and my hallway. And as you can see, out of all of them, only one in the hallway turns on, like none of the others. So I'm going to now have to try and cook in the dark, um, which is not going to be fun. But I thought I'd show you quickly what I'm cooking. Obviously, I was going to film like the whole thing, like cooking a cosy roast, but I literally can't now because my lighting is gone. So yeah, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to make because honestly... I need to give this a shout out because it's the best dinner, especially on a Sunday. Like, it's just insane. Especially if you don't want to cook like a full on roast. It's just so much quicker. Right. Thank God for fridge lights is all I can say. Okay. Oh my God. Right. This right here is the best thing to ever exist. It's a chicken and stuffing pie and it's already got like carrots and veg in as well. So it's basically like a little roast dinner inside a pie. And then all you have to do is potatoes with it. It's my favourite thing in the world. Like, I don't know what my life was like before I found this pie. Like, I have it every Sunday now. It's just, it's just become a thing. Like, I just, if you haven't tried this, go and try it because it's insane. But yeah, I'm going to start making that. And then Dan should be home from work really soon. And then we're, every Sunday we watch a Harry Potter um we started it like a few weeks mm, must be, i think we're on number five so probably, yeah five weeks ago and it works out that it will finish like the weekend before christmas i think yeah because it's eight right so we'll finish just the weekend before so we're watching number five of that tonight which i think is the order of phoenix oh my fridge is beeping no my only light um let's use the christmas tree lights now um so yeah we're gonna watch that and then um the i'm a celeb final which i'm so i don't know if i'm gonna film anything else today but if i do you'll see it if not then i'll pick you up when i do something else festive or interesting or just have a little chat so yeah
the Miz, isn't it? Hi guys, I'm just on my lunch break and oh my god, I need to blend that in. Um, do you need a bit of makeup so I can film a few things later? Um, I think the last time I filmed for Vlogmas was last night when I was just having a bit of a self-care evening, a bit of a cosy evening and um, yeah, I haven't filmed as much as I would have liked to. Like, obviously not a lot has happened this week other than what I have showed you. Um, god this lighting right that's a better angle i do look really pale um i have got bronzer on as you can see because i've not blended it out yet but do you know what it's just the light let me try and see if i can turn it down a bit this lighting makes me look so pale that's a bit better oh my god um yeah anyway i feel like i need to have a bit of a deep chat and um i don't know if this will actually go live or not but i was just thinking like Obviously, I've not had that much going on this week, so that's obviously part of the reason why I've not filmed as much. But in all honesty, I'm also, like, I think I briefly mentioned this the other day, but, like, I've just got so much going on right now. And I wasn't going to talk about it, but do you know what? I've got to keep it real. I, this is my life, and if I'm filming my life, then I can't leave certain bits out. I hate it when I have foundation lips. They just blend in. I was going to put on my eyelashes then. Um yeah in all honesty i'm going through a bit of a friend breakup right now and to be honest it sucks like it genuinely genuinely i'm finding it harder than an actual relationship breakup so that's great because i don't know about anyone else but for me like with a friend if i've been friends with someone for a certain amount of time and like i've shared a certain amount with them like trusted them i don't really like I kind of just assume they're never going to leave, which is probably not great. Whereas with a with a guy, I feel like, A, it takes a lot longer to build that trust to get to the point where you feel like they could never leave. And even if when you do get to that point, it's like people are married for years and they still break up. So do you know what I mean? Like, it's always a possibility. Whereas friends, in my case, once I find someone that I trust, that I have fun with, I have no reason to leave them. Like, I've had the same friends I've had now for, like, most of my life. I just don't see the point in like changing and moving them um but yeah i'm going through a friend breakup it was not my choice to end this friendship i would not have chosen to end the friendship um i'm just such a sentimental person um and yeah i was completely blindsided by this to be honest um and yeah it is what well, look at that wing it is really really hurting me um but I'm trying to look at it in like the best possible way I can so that I can get through this. And I just gotta like look at it like they were never my friend. They can't have ever been my friend if they can drop me like this. So I just gotta see it like that. I just would never choose that. Like, and I feel like it's affecting me so much at the moment. I can't let it keep affecting me in this way. Like, obviously, it's already affected my personal life basically been in a car accident because i've been distracted by it i've had to take time off work because i'm distracted by it like it's just affecting me so much to the point where i'm just a mess and i don't want it to affect this because as embarrassing as it might be to other people like i've put a lot of work into this channel and to my tiktok this year like i've literally spent so much time and energy on it that i don't want to i don't want it to affect this i don't want it to I don't want to not be posting things because I'm like, oh, I'm miserable because that's going on. Do you know what I mean? I want to be able to like openly talk about this. And obviously I'm not going to gossip and go into loads of detail because it's just not the right thing to do. But I feel like that I can say that I can say that like I'm hurt. I'm going through this at the moment. And that's possibly why it's affecting um, how happy I seem in these vlogs. I've got to accept the fact that she was never my friend. I was her friend. And that's why I'm not going to like tarnish these memories i'm not going to delete all my pictures off my social medias i've still got pictures of us in my house i'm not going to do anything about that at the moment do you know what i mean i'm not i'm not going to delete any of that because it's like it's six years of my life i'm not gonna just delete it that quickly but anyway i just thought i'd briefly touch upon that um because i don't want i just want to come across in the most realist way possible in these vlogs and i feel like to do that i need to address the fact that that's why I might seem a bit down sometimes. It's not because I'm being moody or like 
well partly is because I'm being really miserable but you know what I mean I'm hoping that you'll be able to see like a clear difference in me at the start of vlogmas at the end because I'm hoping this isn't gonna affect my Christmas and make me miserable that I do you know what I mean mess up Christmas and stuff so I just gotta keep going yeah I just wanted to have some deep chats and just explain that if you give me the benefit of the doubt it will get better I promise well I hope it gets better but yeah just thought I'd address that oh I can't talk whilst doing this And for all I know, she could even be watching this. But do you know what? Nothing I'm saying isn't true. Nothing I'm saying is mean. I'm just expressing my emotion. And I'm not going to apologise for feeling emotion over someone that I loved for six years leaving. So do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be a robot about it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the first time I've put a... um made by Mitchell Blush on my lips actually. Do you know what, I really like that. I've got another couple of colours coming um, because I have a problem and I just can't stop ordering stuff. So yeah. I also said, I think the other night that we have currently have no lights in our um, kitchen or living room. So that make, oh, I just tasted all of that. That does not taste good. Um, Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, we have no lights in our living room or lounge. So it's making it very, very difficult to cook dinner and lunch because it's just so dark. Like, also, like, could this not have happened in summertime when it's so light outside? But no, it happens when it gets dark, like 2 a.m., 2, 2 p.m. So, yeah, um, I think Dan is on his way back from the gym with a cheeky Mackies for me. Well, I'm hoping he is because... I'm not in the mood to cook and it's too dark to cook and also he's going out well it's not going out he's going to his friend's house tonight to watch the football um so I'm hoping if I have like a big bigger lunch like late lunch and then I won't probably need dinner or I'll just have like some toast or so it was very easy to cook in the dark so yeah that's what I'm doing I've obviously I'm on my lunch break now when I go back from my lunch break I have another couple of hours of work um which honestly drags so much. The last two hours of work after lunch just drags so badly. So yeah, I've got to get through that. And then tonight, I think I'm going to have a little, I know I had a bit of a self-care night last night, but honestly, I am giving myself unlimited self-care nights at this point because I just, I need to get better. So I think tonight I might watch Elf um, because I'm really in the mood to watch Elf. I kept seeing like little clips on TikTok coming up. So I think I'm going to watch Elf, have some snacks and just yeah just maybe i'll film some tiktoks first probably because i've got so many things to film that's why i've done this makeup or this makeup would not be going on to work from home <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do that and then watch elf and again i'll film if something happens or if i just fancy a chinwag again sorry that a lot of this vlog has been just me chatting but do you know what it helps you get to know me a bit better and honestly i bet some people can relate to everything i've spoken about so far so It'll be great if you can because then I don't feel like I'm alone. But yeah, thanks so much for listening if you have again. And I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. I know it's like the, only the first half of this was actually Christmassy, but it will get more and more Christmassy, I promise. Yay, Dan brought me back a McDonald's. And look, there's actually the Christmas design on the cups now. How cute is that? Guys, I've not filmed anything because I've been so busy since literally the second I finished work. I've just been filming so many tiktoks and i'm just sat here amongst loads of mess i can't show you because it's a haul and i'm gonna film it for youtube as well of like things i bought in the black friday sale but i'm just sat here and my stomach started rumbling and i was just like what am i actually doing like i've not stopped yet and it's like eight o'clock and i need to actually put food in my body so i can actually keep going but i just i like staying busy at the moment so i don't have to think um so yeah i've just been filming loads of tiktoks um i'm really active over there so go and follow me over there um and then yeah i just got an asos delivery and i'm waiting for two more things one's from refi <coughs> sorry <laughs> one's from refi and what another one's from asos um i'm just waiting for them to arrive and then i'm gonna film like a big youtube what i got on the black friday sale um and then that'll be up I'm not sure when actually it will either be like an extra upload 
or it will just be Wednesday's upload. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But there's not really anything else to update you on. I'm just making use of having the house to myself and getting loads and loads of stuff done. So yeah, sorry that a lot of this has just been chatty stuff, but this is just spend a week with me and I'm a busy gal most of the time. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you on that. Do you know what? I'll give you a little sneak peek of the haul. Look at the little sneak peek. And that's all you're getting. I think I've actually, have I showed all of my wardrobe now on um YouTube? Because I know I started to film, oh, so look at all that mud. Oh, you can't even see it. It's on the back. Look at all the mud where, oh my God, everyone else has fallen over. Um, Why am I sitting like, I'm literally so unladylike. I can't even cope. I'm just not a lady. But yeah, do you know what? Sometimes I do just come in my wardrobe and sit down in here because I'm like, this is my favourite place in the world. This is where I do so much stuff, you know? Anyway, that's all I have to update you on. Um, hope everyone is having a lovely... What is it? Tu oh my god, it's only Tuesday. That's maybe for us. It's only Tuesday. Almost halfway through the week. And then I'm going to Lincoln. Guys, I was just looking in the freezer for something to eat for dinner. I found my McFlurry that Dan got me earlier. I'm so happy right now, but am I going to get food poisoning? Oh God, so am I. Surely not, because like if you buy a tub of ice cream at the supermarket, drive 10 minutes, like get home and then you put it in the freezer, right? So surely it's not, surely it's going to be fine. I mean, anyway, <laughs> worth it. Well, I say this in the next clip you see me and we're dying in bed, but I can't believe that. I completely forgot about that. What a result. I still need to actually make something for dinner though, but I'm going to enjoy this for now because it's the best McFlurry ever. Morning guys, I'm looking like an absolute state this morning, but I thought I'd film a clip because it is December 1st, which is insane. Um, this is the least Christmassy I've ever, ever felt, um, which is annoying, but obviously I am going on my little Christmassy bestie road trip tomorrow. So hopefully that will make me feel a bit more festive. Um, God, I can't believe I'm actually coming on camera right now, but I thought I would open my glossy box advent calendar on camera i th think i might try and do that like every day in vlogmas because obviously although this is the last day of week one week two will start straight away tomorrow so there shouldn't be a day where i'm not filming by that logic i'm not really sure i've never done this before but yeah i thought i'd um open it on camera i feel like everyone knows what's in the glossy box advent calendar because it's been all over tiktok but i have like purposely tried to ignore it like i don't want to see what's in it i want it to be a complete surprise and although like i do know some things like i don't know what order they're in and i feel like i have forgotten so yeah i'm gonna see what's behind door number one right it's probably the best angle i can get but let's open door number one can you see i don't mm. oh god why isn't it open okay this is really really difficult to do please say one is on this side and it's not it's there you can't literally see i'll show you oh my god what is my life oh. okay number one. Ooh, what is it iconic precision duo contour pot oh my god i need contour oh wow this is so cool okay so it's got that on there and then i'm guessing the next bit is like a highlighter of some kind oh what why is there two different okay i don't understand that but you can read about it in here but then if i look and read about it i'm gonna see what's for number two aren't i so is there any way of covering it up i don't know or i can get down to read it out to me <laughs> but yeah that's number one and i'll probably film opening number two in tomorrow's part of vlogmas which would be day one but i don't know if i have time to be fair because we're gonna leave pretty early um for lincoln but yeah i'm probably gonna end um vlogmas week one here to be fair so that i can edit it you all right i just i just said like so you, you get um like a piece of makeup in each one right and in this booklet it tells you about it so i don't really understand what this is or how you use it but to, to read about it i'd see what number two is because it'd be next oh. to it and i don't really want to know what number two is yet oh See if you can read, can you read number one out to us? Sorry, what? So number open the page one. and look for number one. Should be like an iconic, iconic crib. London. Yeah. Can you read the description, how you use it and stuff? Getting a nice little story read to us this morning. Discover a brand new way to contour with these transformative textures. 
Mm. Cream base with a velvety setting powder. Thick, soft, setting sculptured powder. cheekbones and sweeping shaded shadows. This is contouring the modern way, get ready to shape, set and seal. That's all it says. I wonder how you actually use it. Why is there two different shades? What are the shades for? I don't know. I can't believe you just got me to read when I'm barely awake. <laughs> Sorry. Some of us have to go to work. And by the go to work, I mean go to that kitchen table there and sit there for eight yeah, hours. Some of us need to be in bed. I need to be in bed. But yeah, I'm going to end Vlogmas here. This flattering angle where I'm being smushed. Can you stop me smushed? Why are you recording in like the messiest room? This is the room I always record in. Oh my this is my God. little room. But yeah, I'm going to end Vlogmas here. Ugh, I can't speak. I'm going to end Vlogmas here because... I need to edit this before I go tomorrow, which is going to take me a very long time. Oh, are you going tomorrow? Yeah, you're going to miss me. What am I going to do? I've only gone for like nearly two days. I'll be back Saturday. It's not like I can even play card with Billy because he's working. <laughs> oh, sorry, your only friend is working. I'm joking, that's not my only friend, is it? <laughs> right, sorry for this really long outro. Um... <laughs> can you not? <sighs> Is what, how are you being this mean to me at like 8 o'clock in the morning? I don't know, I wasn't really that mean to you last night, so I'm making up for it. Yeah, that's true. Right, I'm going to go now, guys. Um, And then I'm going to, after work and on my lunch break, edit. Vlogmas 1, hopefully get that uploaded for Sunday, and then I don't have to worry about it all weekend. And then I can start filming tomorrow for week weekless. I'm losing the plot. You also got me clicking my fingers as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so tired. Hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Week 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.